Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today we'll talk about database scaling. So let's assume that we have a server and this server is connected with the database. And currently the database is filled up with data. And also the database can't handle all that much load by its own. So we need to scale um, the database. So how we can do that? So we have two solutions. We have a vertical scaling solution and horizontal scaling solution. And vertical scaling, which is a scale up, is that by adding more resources to the database. So we add more CPU, we add more RAM, we add more storage, etc. So the vector, the the vertical scaling involves increasing the capacity of a single server or node in a database system. Uh, this uh, typically done by adding, as I said before, more CPU power memory, storage, or other hardware resources to the existing server. Vertical scalings allow you to handle increased loads and performance requirements by making a single machine more powerful. But what are the pros and cons of this approach? The pros is that it's quite simpler to implement. So it's simpler to implement initially than the horizontal scaling. It's suitable for the application with um, like modest scalability requirements if the scalability is not a crucial thing. It's uh, the minimal changes to the application code are usually uh, are usually required. We don't have to change that much of the code. On the other hand, what are the cons? What are the downsides from using this approach? The first thing, as you can see, we have a single point of failure. So. We have only one database server. If the database server goes down, our system will not work because our system has no data to work on. The second thing, we have a limited scalability. So basically, we cannot add memory and CPU and storage end to the end. We should have some limits because physically, there are some limits for this one. Other thing, the third one, which will be the high-end hardware cost a lot. So we have three pro main problems. It's that it's limited scalability, that it's quite expensive, and the third, we have a single point of failure. On the other hand, we could use <coughs> we could use a horizontal scaling or scaling out. Um, horizontal scaling, it involves adding more machines. So instead of making this machine bigger, we add more machines. So it will be DB and db and this machine here will be connected with the server so horizontal scaling involves adding more machines or nodes to database system as you can see and instead of working as instead of making a single server a server, a server or a single database more powerful you distribute the data and workloads across multiple servers and this approach allows you to achieve higher levels of the scalability, performance and fault tolerance. If we look about the, 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 the three problems that we had in the, fir the first solution, we don't have them here anymore. So basically first, uh, we don't have any single point of failure if this database went down. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> we have other two databases can serve it. If um, if these three databases reach the limits, we can add more servers if we want. So we don't have the same limits as uh, as uh, as uh, vertical scaling. Also, uh, the the cost is way more less because we don't work on high end uh, servers. So uh, as you can see, that we have higher scalability. We have a cost effective and we improve the fault tolerance. But what are the cons of this approach? The first thing that it's more complex to implement. Um, um, it require, uh, like, uh, requires a distributed architecture when often significant changes and uh, to uh, we, we like we, we, we put significant changes to the application code. Uh, we have another problem with that we will make a dedicated video with it, with, which is the consistency. Because we have three databases and maybe we replicate some uh, data across all of them. So maybe we face some inconsistency. Uh, we have um, 
um, uh, operational complexity because managing a cluster of machines and data distribution can be more challenging. It's not that easy. So in conclusion, uh, horizontal scaling is often preferable uh, approach for large scale web applications, big data systems and cloud based services where high uh, availability, fault tolerance, and scalability are critical. It allows you to handle increasing loads by adding more machines to your infrastructure. On the other hand, vertical scaling on uh, um, vertical scaling may be suitable for smaller applications or suitable or for, uh, where the scalability requirements are uh, not as demanding and it offers simpler and cost-effective solution. So in conclusion, the choice between vertical and horizontal scaling depends on your specific use case budget and scalability requirements. Many modern database systems and cloud providers offer tools and, ser and services that support both scaling approaches, allowing you to uh, tailor your solution to your needs. So that's it for this video and I hope you like my content.